For today's video, we are going to be using the Urban Decay On The Run palette. This is part of the collection that they had, and this is the teal one. If you've seen my videos before, then you've already seen that we have done the purple one, which I loved. Also, I should mention that if you see my background moving, it's because it's not a background, it's actually a dog. That's Rocco, sitting in the background. If you see him moving, I apologize. Anyway, let's get started with today's video. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the top row to start with. So we're going to take the lighter shade, shade number one off the grid, and we're just going to apply this all over the lid using a blending brush. So from the lid up to the brows. We're then going to skip over to escape, which is the third shade, and just apply this back and forth in the crease of the eye and very slowly build this up with your blending brush. Because we already have off the grid on the lid, it should blend really easily for you, but just in case you want to really softly build this up. We're then going to take Detour, which is the last shade in that top row. We're just going to apply this on the outer edge using little circular motions. And then you can very softly blend this up into the crease. Just make sure that Escape is always higher than Detour. So keep Detour nice and low in the crease. Then to save us using any more brushes, I took Dash and I tapped this over the inner two thirds of the lid using my ring finger. But I also went in with my blending brush and just removed any of that shimmer that might have touched the crease because we want to keep the crease nice and matte. And underneath the eye, I took a little bit of detour and I just rubbed this underneath using my pinky. Finish off with lots of mascara and I'm always asked about what mascara I use and it's this one. This is the one that my friend recommended. I will link in the description box all about it. And I'm also using lashes from Pennies. But that is just a nice, simple, natural look. Now we're going to use the first four downwards. So we're going to start off with off the grid again and work this all over the lid. We're then going to take confidential and we're going to apply this on the lid, but also very softly blending it up into the crease when there's not too much product on the brush. So I want to really limit how much product we're using and how many brushes. So we're just going to apply this on the lid and then as it kind of disperses, you can blend it upwards. Using my ring finger again, I'm going to take 16th Street and tap this over the lid. This is going over the top of Confidential. But you do want to go back over with your blending brush just to soften out any harsh lines because using your fingertips doesn't give the same sort of finish. So just very lightly tap over the top. And then I took a little bit of dash and I applied this on the inner corner. But I used my ring finger that I applied 16th Street with just to very softly blend it out. Just so it's not too much of a contrast and we're going to get a nice fade. And again, using my pinky, I took Confidential and applied this underneath the lashes on that lower lash line. Finish off with liner and lashes and Rocco really liked this one because it actually made him wake up and come and give me kisses. For the final look, we're going to be using the green shade. So we're going to start off with Escape all over the lid and also blending this into the crease. We're then going to take Detour and we're going to apply this all over the lid and this is going to work as a base for the greens that we're going to be applying. So for the greens, what I did is I took the darker of the two greens and I applied this with my ring finger along the lash line. Now, if you have a brush, use a brush, but I really want to make these beginner videos super easy. So I'm just going to push this along the lash line using the curve of my eye. And then what I'm going to do is to blend it upwards at a, like a wedge shape using a clean finger just to smudge that out. So it's basically like a wedge of a shoe from the center of the lid blending upwards. And this will lift the eye shape as well. And this is the kind of look that you're aiming for at the end. And then I just finished off with a little bit of that teal color underneath as well. And then to use the last shade, we have Switchback, which is a gorgeous highlighter. It's really sheer, but it catches the light in this beautiful green color. And just apply that on the inner corner to bring the entire look together. And there you go. A cool way to add a little bit of green, keeping it nice and neutral and still wearable. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If there's any other palettes you'd like me to try out, definitely let me know in that comment section. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, check out the videos on the screen, and I'll see you in the next one.